हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व फर्स्ट न्यूमेरिकल ऑफ लोकल अट्रैक्शन क्वेश्चन इज गिवन एज द फॉलोइंग बियरिंग वर ऑब्जर्व इन रनिंग अ क्लोज ट्रेवर्स एट वॉट स्टेशन डू यू सस्पेक्ट लोकल अट्रैक्शन डिटरमाइन द करेक्ट मैग्नेटिक बियरिंग इफ डेक्लिनेशन वॉज फाइव डिग्री टेन मिनट ईस्ट वॉट आर द True bearing. Now we have to find the stations where we suspect local attraction, as well as we have to find the correct magnetic bearing. And if declination was five degree ten minute east, then we have to find the true bearing of the line A B B C C D D E and E A. Now in this table, fore bearing and back bearing is given. So first of all. Before solving this numerical, we have to calculate the difference between the fore bearing and back bearing. That is, difference between back bearing and fore bearing, so that we can get an idea that whether there is local attraction or not. From the difference of two fifty four degree twenty minute and seventy five degree five minute, the difference is other than one eighty degree. So here the stations are not free from local attraction because the difference is other than one eighty degree. Okay, now when we subtract back bearing that is two ninety six degree thirty five minute and one one five degree twenty minute, then in this the difference is other than one eighty degree, which is same as that of previous. So in line B C, it is not free from local attraction. Now in line C, the difference between back bearing and fore bearing is one eighty degree. That is equals to one eighty degree. So line C D is free from local attraction. So station C and station D are free from local attraction. Now after calculating the difference of back bearing and fore bearing of D E and E A, it is other than one eighty degree. That is other than One eighty degree. So line D E and E A are also not free from local attraction. So in case of close travels, it is very easy to determine which stations are affected by local attraction and which stations are free from local attraction. So in this travels, station A, station B, station E are affected by Local attraction and station C and D are free from local attraction. So we had find our first solution that at what station do you suspect local attraction? So station A, B, and E are the station at which we suspect local attraction. Now it is very easy to find the station at which there is local attraction in case of close travels. But in case of open travels, we don't give the value directly by just observing the back bearing and fore bearing differences. Okay, students. Now for finding the correct magnetic bearing, we have to make the table like this. That is line bearing correction, corrected bearing, and true bearing. Now we have the fore bearing of line A B and back bearing of line A B. Now fore bearing is always measured from start point. That is for line A B, it is always measured from station A. So we had keep the bearing of A B as fore bearing of A B, and bearing of B A is equals to the back bearing of A B because it is measured from station B. So first digit is always representing the station from which the readings is taken. Okay, students. So we had written all the readings as fore bearing, back bearing, fore bearing, back bearing, fore bearing, back bearing, and so on. Okay. Now from the observation, we had determined that C station and D stations are free from local attraction. So this reading is measured from station C. This reading is also measured from station C. This reading is measured from station D, and this reading is measured from station D. So the correction at these stations will be zero degree zero minute because these are free from local attraction. So we had written correction as plus zero degree zero minute at station C and at station D. Now after adding the bearing and correction, we will get the corrected 
मैग्नेटिक बियरिंग और करेक्टेड बियरिंग विच विल बी इक्वल टू टू नाइनटी सिक्स डिग्री थर्टी फाइव मिनट सिमिलरली वन सिक्सटी फाइव डिग्री थर्टी फाइव मिनट थ्री फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री थर्टी फाइव मिनट एंड टू ट्वेंटी फोर डिग्री फिफ्टी मिनट नाउ दिस इज द बैक बियरिंग ऑफ लाइन बी सी एंड दिस इज द फोर बियरिंग ऑफ लाइन बी सी नाउ द करेक्टेड बैक बियरिंग ऑफ लाइन बी सी इज टू नाइंटी सिक्स डिग्री थर्टी फाइव मिनट एंड द रॉन्ग फोर बियरिंग ऑफ लाइन बी सी इज वन वन फाइव डिग्री ट्वेंटी मिनट सो आफ्टर टेकिंग द डिफरेंस ऑफ दीज टू रीडिंग वी विल गेट वन एटी वन डिग्री फिफ्टीन मिनट सो इट इज ग्रेटर देन वन एट्टी डिग्री बाय वन डिग्री फिफ्टीन मिनट ओनली सो वी हैव टू अप्लाई द करेक्शन ऑफ वन डिग्री फिफ्टीन मिनट Now we will apply a negative correction of one degree fifteen minute at this station, but at this point the station C is free from local attraction and we had already applied the correction, so we don't apply the correction at this line that is C B. Now we have to apply the correction in the line B C of positive nature that is plus one degree fifteen minute. Now we had applied this correction at station B and this is also measured from station b so at this station the correction is also 1 degree 15 minutes now after adding these values we will get 115 degree 20 minutes plus 1 degree 15 minute it will be equals to 116 degree 35 minute as well as after adding 254 degree 20 minute plus 1 degree 15 minute it will be equals to 255 degree 35 minute now this is the corrected back bearing of line ab and this is the wrong four bearing of line ab so after taking the difference of 255 degree 35 minute and 75 degree 5 minute we will get the difference as 180 degree 30 minute and it is greater than 180 degree by only 30 minute now if we want to apply the correction in this line then we have to apply a negative correction of minus 30 minute but at this line or at the station b we had already applied the correction that is plus 1 degree 15 minute so we have to apply a correction of positive nature at station a that is plus 0 degree 30 minute now this is also measured from station a so at this station the correction is also 0 degree 30 minute now we will add all the readings that is 75 degree 5 minute plus 0 degree 30 minute it will be equals to 75 degree 35 minute and 125 degree 5 minute plus 0 degree 30 minute it will be equals to 125 degree 35 minute now this is the corrected back bearing of line ea and this is the wrong four bearing of line ea now after taking the difference of 305 degree 50 minute and 125 degree 35 minute it will be equals to 179 degree 15 minute now it is less than 180 degree by only 45 minute now we have to apply a correction of 45 minute at this station but here we had already applied the correction of plus 0 degree 30 minute so we will need to apply the correction at station e of positive nature so it will be equals to plus 0 degree 45 minute and it is also measured from station e so the correction will be plus 0 degree 45 minute after adding the value that is 44 degree 5 minute we will get 44 degree 50 minute similarly 304 degree 15 minute plus 0 degree 45 minute we will get 305 degree 35 minute now the difference between the four bearing and back bearing is 180 degree similarly here also 180 degree here also 180 degree here also 180 degree and here also 180 degree so we had correct all the magnetic bearing and we had determined the corrected magnetic bearing which is shown in this column that is the corrected magnetic bearing of all the lines now in the question declination is given as 5 degree 10 minute eastward so we have to add 
प्लस फाइव डिग्री टेन मिनट इन दी करेक्टेड मैग्नेटिक बेयरिंग ओके टू डिटरमाइन दी ट्रू बेयरिंग ओके नाउ After adding the magnetic bearing with plus five degree ten minute, we will get reading as eighty degree forty five minutes. Similarly, two sixty degree forty five minutes, one twenty one degree forty five minutes, three zero one degree forty five minutes. Similarly, one seventy degree forty five minute, three fifty degree. Forty-five minutes to thirty degree. Similarly, fifty degree, three one zero degree, forty-five minute, and one thirty degree, forty-five minute. So we had determined the corrected magnetic bearing as well as true bearing of all the lines. That is all about this numerical. Thank you very much, students.